When we were presented with the opportunity to work on the Planet of the Apes trilogy, we knew that the success of the film would hinge on the realistic portrayal of the primate cast. So one of our first ports of call was the Wellington Zoo. My name is Harmony and I'm team leader of Primates, so um, I work as part of a team that looks after our community of 10 chimpanzees. Here at the zoo we've done a, a lot of work with um, Weta Digital, um, especially around the Planet of the Apes movies and a lot of filming with our chimpanzees for, for different aspects. My name's Dan Lemon, I'm a visual effects supervisor at Weta Digital and I've been involved with the last three Planet of the Apes movies, the sort of reboot that we started in 2009. When we first found out we were going to be making these uh, Planet of the Apes movies, you know, we wanted to find a really good troupe of chimpanzees. And uh, we didn't have to look very far. In Wellington, we're lucky enough to have a you know, really robust and vibrant uh, little community of apes there. One of the biggest parts of our job is to figure out how to take reference pictures, images from the real world, to study the chimpanzees, and then create digital versions of those. I find a long time ago. There's no substitute for getting up close and personal with the actual animals that you're trying to create digitally. And the Wellington Zoo was really accommodating with us. They let us have you know, close access to the chimps. Whenever one of the chimpanzees has a medical procedure that they need to have done, the zoo will get medical information that, that, that to us becomes really useful uh, data that we can use to help create the digital apes. Weta would come in and do um, some work on texturing and stuff there, so you know, see what the um, texture of a chimp's skin is, you know, the way that the hairs come out of the skin and the way they fall, how water beads off chimpanzee hair, you know, the way different elements interact with them. The, the real challenge when you're creating a digital character is to put all of the complexity and all the detail that you see in the real world into the digital character. And so we studied quite a bit about the anatomy of, of uh, the, the chimps and the orangutans and the gorillas as well. Things that you'll notice is just the brow quite a bit more pronounced than ours and their nose is quite a bit flatter. Bad ape. We start with the bones and uh, we create digital copies of the bones on top of the bones, we add muscles, and so the muscles will stretch from bone to bone, and the, you know, again, digital model. We stretch skin over the top of that, and that's yet another digital model that goes on top of that. And then we grow fur from the skin. We style that fur so that it looks like a chimpanzee. And constantly we're looking back to the real chimpanzees and making sure that all of the detail that we see from the real world, we're folding into our digital work so that hopefully the audience is completely convinced that the chimpanzee that they see in the movie is real. I mean, the, the chimps look really closely replicated to, to real chimps. You know, the mannerisms, the way they move. Because we were able to go in and, and get up close and personal with a lot of the apes and got to study them and see their movements, everything from all the really fine details of like their hair, their expressions, and just how they, how they got together as, as, as a group. There are gestures that we see that are really common to chimps, like submitting, putting the hand out, lowering heads and stuff like that. Uh, also displays, you know, for, for males, their displays are really important. Um, so to, to see behaviours like that is exactly what we see here at the zoo with, with our chimps. You have to pay attention to the fact that these are our closest cousins in the animal world and they're really threatened. And if we, don't, um, if we don't take care and, and conserve them, we lose an opportunity to, to understand a lot about what it is to be human. And I think that's one of the reasons why the Planet of the Apes stories are so interesting because uh, you know, when you break it down, there's actually a lot of um, animal in humans and there's a lot of humanity in, in animals as well. Working with the primates, especially things like the chimpanzees and, and being able to contribute to their lives and, and um you know, make a difference for them is a real passion and, um, you know, something that we all you know, love to come in and do every day. <laughs>